Hello, everyone. It's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle. Man, this does not get old. Today, I am presenting you an absolutely stunning 1947 Ford Super Deluxe Sedan Custom that I have nicknamed the Boss. This vehicle is an MS Classic Cars Top 25 pick, and you need to understand why. Come check it out. To start off this uh, video here, this is a non-rehearsed video. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We are very proud to say that we are the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell and we document that work with an invoice. As an example, in this brand new binder that I create for every vehicle, the first and foremost thing that you have in the beginning is the invoice. This invoice will document that we invested $6,017.11 sorting this vehicle out. Regardless if the vehicle is a factory correct build or a custom build like this vehicle here, they all need to be sorted out. So what we do here is we eliminate any surprises for the new owner. We also detail these vehicles to the highest level, which is very clear in all of the photos that we present. Please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with over 150, sometimes as many as 200 photos. And then of course we do this video here today to try to give you as much information and be as transparent as possible. I apologize if it gets a little boring throughout this video, but my goal is to make sure that anybody who's interested in purchasing this vehicle clearly understands what it is. So let's uh, let's start off by saying this. Uh, so in the beginning there, I just said that this is a top 25 vehicle uh, in MS Classic Cars history. Considering that we've had uh, over 750 vehicles uh, sold on our website and probably another 50 or 100 that never made it to our website, uh, collectively close to a thousand vehicles. As I said, number one, number two condition vehicles. For me to say that this is a top 25 vehicle is a huge deal. When I'm talking about top 25, I'm talking about the appearance, I'm talking about the bodywork, the paint, the glass, the fit and finish of all of the trim and bright work, the complete uh, interior starting from the headliner to the carpets, Talking about the engine compartment and then finishing it off with the undercarriage, even getting involved with how everything was put together right down to the nuts, bolts, and the wiring. So again, that's what really classifies uh, a vehicle for me to be called a top 25 pick. And we have had some of the best custom vehicles on the planet built by the best builders. As an example, uh, King Did It Design, We've owned uh, a vehicle that was built by them. We actually have a good friend of ours 
who's a part-time person of the MS Classic Cars organization, who has a vehicle that was just finished by them. Uh, Goosby Customs, uh, we've had a vehicle by them. Matter of fact, they're gonna be building us an amazing 1967 Ford Mustang. Uh, Ring Brothers, we've had a few Ring Brothers cars here. Uh, the Custom Shop, uh, we just sold a magnificent 67 Chevelle uh, at Barrett Jackson, nicknamed Overlord, that was built by the Custom Shop. Uh, Rad Rods by Troy and Killer Hot Rods and Customs. Those are just some examples. On that note of Killer Hot Rods and Customs, one of the vehicles that we just recently sold was a 1937 Chevrolet Business Coupe uh, that was absolutely spectacular. It was one of my favorite vehicles of all time. Uh, if you have not seen that vehicle, we sold it on Bring a Trailer, uh, which is an online auction for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, that vehicle was an epic sale. It got a ton of attention, and Bring a Trailer just recently contacted me about making that car one of their calendar featured cars for 2023. So we know quality at MS Classic Cars, and this vehicle that I'm sending here today is the definition of quality. Again, top 25 build. So let's get into the uh, short description here. This is the main description that I've written on my website. Just to give you a quick little history about the vehicle, what I normally do is I stay inside the vehicle, talk about the exterior, the interior, the trunk compartment, the engine compartment, undercarriage. But what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna do it a little bit different, mix it up. I'm actually going to get out of the vehicle. I'm gonna do a full, uh, presentation of the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is kind of talk about some of the things. I'll open the driver's door, show you some of the interior, close it. We'll go to the back. I'll show you the trunk compartment, make our way over to the passenger side. Once again, open the door on this side, and then we'll kind of end in front of the engine compartment where I'll go over some of the details uh, there as well. And um, then we'll just kind of touch base on some of the undercarriage and so forth. I do want to make mention that we are going to be doing a driving video of this vehicle as well. Uh, that will be done over the next couple of days. So make sure to watch the driving video as well. All right, so let's start off uh, this first paragraph here, which again is right off my website. I've written all this information and I'm just going to kind of highlight it quick here. Now known as the boss. I nicknamed it the boss because that's what it is. It is the boss. When you're sitting in this vehicle, not only do you feel, uh, it, you just feel just important is what it boils down to. Uh, you feel in charge, you feel in command. And of course, because it has a boss engine, which I'll get into in a minute, uh, it all kind of tied into itself. And that's where I came up with the name. So this stunning 1947 Ford Super Deluxe Sedan Custom is a one of a kind street machine and multiple award winner. It commands respect wherever it goes with its striking appearance and extreme attention to detail. It's been completely modernized, and when I go over this vehicle, you are not gonna believe it checks every single box with modern features, which is not typically an easy thing to accomplish with a classic car, especially making them function properly. Um, so again, they did all that to make the ultimate driving experience. It's accompanied with its original owner's manual, which is included. All of this information can be seen in our photo gallery, but why I've got the binder right here, again, I spend a lot of time with these binders, putting everything in order. This is the original operator's manual for this particular car, 1947 Ford. Very cool that it still has that. Um, also, it was owned by Miss Alexander from California, which is documented with original service receipts ranging from 1966 to 1976. Again, all this is in our photo gallery, but I'm just gonna whip through it real quick here and show you, it's not very often that we get service receipts on vehicles of this age that document some of the history. So we have some here, we have some here, we have some here as well and here. So this is again, really cool information that follows the vehicle and that is included. Also, it was owned by Mr. Beck, uh, who was also from California, which is documented with original registrations ranging from 1977 to 1990. Once again, I'm just gonna show you these really quick here in this binder. You can see how I've organized them all in the years. Uh, they were produced and so forth. So you'll see, again, all this stuff is in our photo gallery uh, on our website. Now, it was in 2012 purchased by a gentleman, uh, Mr. George, 
um, which he discovered at a Good Guys Nationals event in Pleasanton, California. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, Good Guys is an amazing organization. I've been a member of Good Guys for many, many years. Uh, if you don't know much about them, you got to check them out. Uh, they really, really do a great thing uh, for the classic car uh, community. Not only do they deal with just custom cars, but they do a lot with factory correct cars too that a lot of people aren't aware of. They do a lot of autocross events. I just can't say enough about them. Uh, so anyway, this vehicle was again purchased uh, by Mr. George. Uh, again, it was discovered at the Good Guys Nationals. At the time he found it, it was actually painted black with a purple to blue tribal flames. That was kind of a popular thing back then. He uh, decided that he wanted to create a masterpiece uh, after he purchased the vehicle and he sent it to well-known Roseville Rod and Custom for a complete body off restoration. Uh, no expense was spared on this documented uh, restoration. There's uh, some photos that we've pulled uh, off of their Facebook page and so forth that kind of show you some of the stages of the restoration. So once it was completed, it achieved good guys Ford and a Ford award. Uh, also top 12 honors. In 2015, it was a good guy's top five finalist for America's most beautiful street rod. In 2016, it was awarded first in class at the Sacramento Autorama. And then in 2017, it was awarded a top 100 car by Street Rider Magazine, which is also included, um, again, in our photo gallery. I got all this stuff offline and so forth. And there's pictures uh, of them doing a photo shoot uh, for the magazine as well. All of these words I indicated are, again, documented with articles, but are not included. Since completion, it's only been driven 2,450 miles. Uh, this vehicle, again, has everything going for it and is a top 25 vehicle in the MS Classic Cars collection. So that kind of sums up a little bit of the history of the vehicle, a little bit of the documentation that's included. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get out and we're going to start from beginning to end and make sure you're fully aware of how special this is. Let's go ahead and do that now. Thank you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start uh, this presentation out here. I am gonna reference my notes uh, throughout the presentation uh, just to make sure I cover everything. But why don't we come a little bit closer and check this baby out. The first thing I'm gonna say uh, is this has got to be uh, one of the best bodied and paint jobs on a classic vehicle that we have ever had. We've had grade eight Riddler contenders and I would put this vehicle in the category of one of those cars when it comes time for the bodywork and the paint. Again, pictures, this video, you only understand the quality of this when you see it in person. So again, the body is laser straight. Uh, again, this big fender car from the 1940s is absolutely spectacular. Again, this was a very pivotal time uh, in automotive history. If you think it was the 20s, then it was the 30s, and how quickly these vehicles evolved, and then, of course, they changed in the 50s, and then, of course, the 60s eras with the muscle cars and 70s and so forth. So this was a really, really pivotal time in American automotive history, and this vehicle right here is really what it was all about. Uh, again, if you look at these lines, it is absolutely gorgeous. You got to check out all the photos. Uh, Corey, who does all of our photos here, did an amazing job capturing it in a ton of different angles and different ways of looking at it, but it is truly stunning. So let's first uh, talk about the windshield there. Normally from the factory, uh, that had trim that was around the windshield. They removed that trim. They actually put the rubber seal there. What it does is it gives us kind of a cleaner, smoother, open uh, window look. It's all brand spanking new glass. Again, the fit and finish is second to none. When you look at fit and finish, I'm talking about how beautifully all of this is here. Again, they did an amazing job. While we're on the subject of this glass, you'll notice this vent here. Uh, if you just stay there for one second, I'm just gonna pop this so you can see. This is still functioning. So it works really nice. That is a beautiful cowl area. This uh, steel hood here uh, is also in beautiful condition, super straight. 
These louvers were actually fabricated into this hood. They did not come with these. This is a great look. Uh, it was a very error correct look for hot rods and so forth. It also allows uh, extra engine cooling. Uh, so again, this is a custom feature. These vehicles uh, also had a hood ornament that came up. If you go online and you look at it, they deleted all of that, painted it and so forth. The color of this paint has been referenced as silver mist. Again, it's a metallic paint. It is absolutely gorgeous. Again, award-winning paint here. I do have this flashlight uh, that I am gonna put over the vehicle. I already know this vehicle has virtually no imperfections to speak of, but I am gonna just kind of go over this here to make sure of that. And I don't see one single imperfection on this hood to make note of. It's in beautiful shape. Uh, these were factory installed body moldings that were actually professionally uh, sent out and restored. Their bright work is amazing. Again, the fit and finish is second to none. You'll notice down here on the front end, again, I'll bring out my flashlight. It still has the factory Super Deluxe 8 for the V8 emblem along with the Ford front grille here, which is in beautiful condition. Again, this was all professionally restored. The fit and finish is second to none. The headlight bezels are brand new. These are modern headlights. These are actually motorcycle headlights, believe it or not. Uh, I can reference my notes here just to give you an indication of what they're called. A Jure Prism Trilent Motorcycle Headlights is what you refer to it as. And then of course you can see some of the beautiful paintwork that's behind this chrome. Again, behind the front bumper. This bumper was completely modified, completely chromed. It's got a really nice, tight look to it. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, these marker lights here and so forth are brand new. Again, chrome bezels here. Everything just really works. But look at these body lines. I mean, just absolutely spectacular. As we make our way over to the driver's side front fender, like nothing like a big fendered car here. Look at that paint. I don't know if the camera's picking up how much metallic is in this paint, but it's stunning. These fenders from the factory had a very similar molding to this that would come here. They deleted those to give it a little bit more of a cleaner, smoother look. I think that was a great choice. But again, I don't see one single chip. I don't see one imperfection on this entire car. It's absolutely beautiful. As we make our way down to these wheels, um, Budnick is a great wheel company. I'm friendly with the owners of Budnick. We've done a lot of business over the years, not only with wheels, but steering wheels. These are very, very beautiful wheels. Uh, these are 18 inch in the front. They're 20 inch in the back. Uh, these wheels are referenced as, it's gonna get my notes here. Murak threes is what they call them. What I love about this choice of wheel is it really fills the wheel well. And this color here, somewhat matches the color here. It's like the perfect two-tone combination. And then of course the bright work in the center matches the bright work on the car. So I think it was the perfect wheel selection. These wheels are wrapped with the well-known uh, Nitto NT555 Extreme tires. The uh, front tires here are 225-45-18s. So again, they're in beautiful condition. There's no road rash or anything to speak of. Again, the vehicle only has 2,450 miles. When you look at all of these gap lines here, it is super, super tight. Again, the fit and finish is second to none. Look at the chrome molding on the bottom. Even the chrome molding on the bottom is in beautiful condition. So you kind of go from this chrome here to the chrome below. It just looks absolutely amazing. These mirrors, these are custom mirrors that were added to both sides. Again, when you pay attention to how these car builders think, uh, they're great designers. This is an oval design. And if you look at the rear window when we get back there, that's an oval design and it kind of just matches. Again, little things like that, they do. Like the headlight bezels, the taillight bezels, they get into matching the louvers with certain things in the interior. It's just a lot of thought goes into these builds. Now, when we look at these doors, again, the fit and finish is second to none. Look at these gap lines. Again, this is a 1947 
all steel. This vehicle's all steel. And look at how beautiful the fit and finish is. These door handles are like opening a Mercedes Benz. I know you can't see in this video uh, how it feels, but it's very just super nice. Again, reminds me of a real high-end vehicle. Um, on the subject of doors, we do have this keyless remote entry system, which essentially locks and unlocks the doors. And it works beautifully as you can see. And then we also have a remote uh, for the rear trunk lid that actually opens as well. So again, this is a keyless remote system that is included with the vehicle that works exceptionally. Now, once we open up this door here, I want you to check out the photos uh, that Corey had taken of this vehicle and look at how these door panels actually fit on these doors. This material here is a super high grade leather interior. Uh, they did a beautiful job. All of this trim was painted body color. Again, all the seals are done very, very nicely. Uh, the strikers are absolutely beautiful. It's got rubber door sills. And the interior of this is absolutely mind boggling. It is one of the nicest interiors I've ever seen. So let me just kind of go over this briefly. In our other video, we're gonna be doing a lot of the mechanical um, presentation with all the features and everything. So I'm not gonna necessarily go over all of that now, but I am just gonna point out some of the things that I think are very impressive about this interior. Um, so the first thing is the headliner. I love the choice with the headliner. The headliner is kind of a two-tone, and what they did is they made a massive centerpiece, which reminds me of like a panoramic sunroof that you'd see in a modern car today. I think they absolutely killed it. It definitely matches the exterior perfectly. Same thing with the sun visors. Look how nice these are. They don't fall down. They're nice and full. They use black brackets here, which I thought was a great touch. Again, a chrome custom rear view mirror. And this entire windshield has been trimmed with chrome. It is absolutely flawless. It looks like this was built yesterday by a major manufacturer of a Highline company. The dash is actually a gorgeous kind of light, soft black color, beautiful paintwork. This is all artwork in here. These beautiful silver grills. Again, this is all new. There's no pitting. There's no scratching. There's, it's just all exceptional craftsmanship is what it is. And check this out. They even left the sliding covers for the ashtrays that were part of this vehicle in 1947. When you look at all the gauges, these gauges were supplied by Classic Industries. Uh, these are VDO white face gauges. You got your fuel gauge, oil pressure, water temperature, volts. You got your speedometer. And over here, you have your engine RPM, which I think is great. Notice how this gauge and this gauge are kind of in the center. And then of course, you got your Kenwood uh, sound system here. This is a modern uh, sound system. It also has Kenwood speakers in the, in the kicker panels down there. You'll see that the interior lights light up beautifully on the floor. I cannot say enough about the interior of this car. Everything is in working order. So real quickly, down below, we have this vent piece. That was what I had showed you earlier that I was struggling to open because I actually thought you pushed it in, but actually you pull. Um, down here, we have all of your vintage AC controls. So yes, this has ice cold air conditioning. This waterfall designed console was wrapped in the same leather material as this door panel. It's in gorgeous shape. What you have is you have your gear select indicator uh, down here as well. So when you're shifting, it shows you what gear you're in. There's a cell phone holder here, which is great. You got a cup holder. And then of course you got your air ride controls. So if I were to just quickly show you here with the lights, you see how nicely this interior lights up too. It's absolutely gorgeous. You got your tilt steering wheel, okay, which is nice. You got your turn signals. This is a billet specialties, stiletto style steering wheel. You got all of your um, beautiful vents here. The bottom of this panel is all wrapped in the same color leather black billet specialties pedals, even the e-brake handle, which is functioning, is actually black. Just absolutely gorgeous. These seats are extremely comfortable. Um, these are a Wise Guy seat. Wise Guy is a company that actually builds seats, and then of course it was all upholstered and so forth. It looks stunning. These seats do recline to allow you to get into the back. And I don't know if you can actually see uh, the back there, how spacious it is, but 
it's very rare that you'll find classic cars that have this much space and this much headroom. You truly feel like a king or maybe a boss when you're sitting back there. And of course, you got all your seat belts. Uh, you got plush carpeting throughout with these custom mats that have been integrated into the carpeting. Um, it just goes on and on. One thing I am going to tell you too, which is one of my favorite features. Again, we will demonstrate this in our mechanical uh, video, but you have your normal door handles, but this looks like power win uh, like a normal roll up window, but it's actually power. So all you do is you hold it up like this and the window goes up and this is again, brand new glass. It's tinted and it goes down. Look at how nice, how quiet this is. It works absolutely beautiful. Again, super, super nice. Uh, this was a great design. Uh, definitely wanted to mention that. So as we make our way over to the back here, I'll, again, I'll use my flashlight to highlight these beautiful body lines. Again, look at this. Absolutely stunning. I don't see one imperfection to speak of here. These moldings, again, were fully restored. Look how well they match. Okay, a lot of times this stuff doesn't match perfectly. On this vehicle, it does. Look at this, zero imperfections. Again, the rear quarter is in beautiful shape. Absolutely stunning. Again, we have these beautiful Budnick wheels. These are 20 inch wheels. Again, the Nitto NT555 Extreme tires. Just absolutely gorgeous. Again, no imperfections to speak of. Those rear tires are 245, 4020s. Over here, we have the factory Gas cap area, we do have a little spot in here that actually releases the trunk, or you can use your remote, whatever you choose. But I'll go ahead and show you here when you push this down, how that opens. And then what I'll do is I'll also close it, and then I'll show you how it opens from here as well. Again, we'll be demonstrating that in our mechanical video, but I thought I would just kind of show you that. So now, as we make our way over to the back of the vehicle, again, you'll notice that oval window that I had mentioned earlier that kind of matches the mirrors. Uh, that's a very, very uh, just traditional hot rod look. Uh, oval windows are just awesome, in my opinion. Uh, spectacular. They shaved a lot of this stuff back here where the, the factory had had. Uh, if you get online and you look at a 47 Super Deluxe, you'll notice they had things back here that kind of just cluttered it, if you will. They smoothed all that, did a beautiful job. And then of course, uh, when you look at this trunk compartment, the back side of this has got that ultra plush carpeting. Again, the fit and finish is second to none. They wrapped all this here. They wrapped that panel in the back with the same type of plaid uh, 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 pattern and so forth as they did with the interior. Um, again, look at this, absolutely beautiful. Everything is carpeted throughout. It's in super nice condition. Uh, this folds down here, this piece. And lo and behold, back here, again, this is, I, I, again, if you don't know much about these cars and how they're put together, I will promise you that it's very, very rare to see work done to such a high level here. The way they wired all this, the way they loomed it all, the way they organized uh, these compressors and the air tank and everything for the AccuAir system, the Optima battery. It even has a battery kill switch in here. It's got Kenwood speakers up on the, on the rear shelf here. This is an amplifier for the sound system and they did such a beautiful, beautiful job uh, with all of that. Again, you can reference all that in our photo gallery. Again, this rear bumper here has been modified. It's brand spanking new. All the paintwork is exceptional. Custom taillights, look at this. I mean, it's just, it's jewelry. Again, photos and videos can only show you so much, but even this, the way this feels, it feels to me like when you're opening the doors, very solid, very rich. It shuts beautiful. Again, when I use my flashlight over here, I don't see one single imperfection. And I'm talking about if there was a chip on this car that was the size of a, a pencil tip, I would tell you about it, but I just don't see anything yet during this presentation that's worth mentioning. As we make our way over to the passenger rear quarter here, again, we are looking at amazing body lines, super straight, all this channeling and so forth is gorgeous. Again, the moldings were all restored. I don't see anything at all 
Worth mentioning again, the beautiful Budnick 20 inch wheels in the rear, Nitto tires. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention on the other side, speaking of these rear windows, this is epic. So this was a factory feature that they kept, which I'm so glad that they did. When you want to open these rear windows, if you roll the window this way, you roll it down and it stops halfway. Lets a lot of air into the back, a lot of circulation and so forth. When you roll the window up, which by the way, these windows roll up beautifully and they seal tight, and then you roll it forward, you actually can open the window this way and let in a little bit less airflow. I just thought that was such a cool thing, never knew it, learned it when we got it, that that was actually a factory feature that they left in this vehicle, which works absolutely amazing. And again, this glass is brand new, it's tinted, and you can see the fit and finish. You can see how beautifully everything operated when I just touched it. Now, when you're looking again at the passenger side, it's equally as nice as what the driver's side was. Again, the fit and finish is second to none. They did a beautiful job with this interior. Um, David Putnam Upholstery is the name of the company that actually did this work. They're highly recognized for amazing interiors. The paint work on here matches to perfection. Every single nut and bolt is stainless. Again, you got your inside door handle, you got your window crank on this side. Check this out. Look at this. Nice and tight, you hear it? Stop, push it down. I mean, it just, it's exceptional. So word that comes to my mind is exceptional. Even this glove box here is beautiful. Look at this. Look at the fit and finish of this glove box. The paint work, all the nuts and the bolts and everything. It's just absolutely amazing. It closes tight. Again, beautiful interior. All that chrome work is exceptional. It's absolutely amazing. Rear view mirror here matches. Again, these mirrors match the rear. The doors are in exceptional condition. Again, no imperfections, not one single chip, not one scratch. Again, I could have missed something. I don't want to say it's completely perfect because I would have to spend a lot of time trying to find that one imperfection, but I think you get my point here. This thing is in beautiful shape. Looking at these front fenders again, these fenders are fat and wide. They look awesome. Again, look at these lines here on how everything is. Now, let me open up the hood and I'll show you this amazing motor. This doesn't open really high, so it's a little bit hard to get the camera in there, but really important uh, that we talk about this for a moment. I'm gonna use my flashlight as well. What we have is we have a completely amazing firewall that is completely painted. Uh, the inner section here is painted as well. You'll see every single nut and bolt is stainless. You'll see the air correct style black hinges which I think look absolutely amazing. Um, again, this looks beautiful. Now, talking about this engine, this is a Ford Racing Boss 302 crate engine. We did on our website and in the photo gallery include pictures of the engine from Ford. We did include all the specifications from Ford. So let me just real quickly touch base on this because it's important. Just this engine itself, without any of the intake, the carburetor, uh, air cleaner, water pump, some of the accessories is $11,000 just for the motor. Now, why they chose this motor was because they wanted something that was gonna be user-friendly. I cannot emphasize enough how user-friendly this car is. Everything is acceptable, it's extremely comfortable, everything's in working order. You got everything in the world that you could ever ask for in a vehicle. As I said to, earlier, it checks all the boxes. So in regards to this motor, it says right from Ford Racing, this new Boss 302 crate engine features race quality components at entry level pricing, utilizing all forged internals. This crate engine is excellent value and a solid foundation for any combination, including forced 
induction. It's the best bang for the buck in a Ford small block engine. Again, 302 cubic inch, 340 horsepower at 6,200 RPM, 365 foot pounds of torque at 4,800 RPM. It's nine to one compression, forged pistons, forged steel connecting rods. It's a four bolt main block, hydraulic roller camshaft, double roller timing chain, forged steel crankshaft. Uh, it even has Ford Racing aluminum GT40 heads. Uh, so again, it's got roller rockers. It just goes on and on. What I love is the engine was dressed with these beautiful black uh, valve covers that simulate the valve covers that you used to find on the 289s and 302s back in the uh, mid 60s and so forth. It's got a matching air cleaner up here, which I thought was perfect. That's an Edelbrock carburetor. It's a 600 CFM carburetor. Edelbrock intake. This is a MSD ignition. You can see the coil down here, ignition. These are black Taylor wires. You can see the polished uh, thermostat housing. See how beautiful the job they did with all the hoses. Everything is heat shrunk, which I love. This pulley system on here, which is thousands of dollars, that's a billet uh, specialties true track pulley system that is absolutely amazing. Uh, it really dresses the engine quite nicely. You'll see this canister over on the corner here. This is actually a power steering reservoir. So this vehicle does have power steering. The engine is actually cooled by this radiator, which I thought was a great choice. What a lot of people would have done is they would have went on a website, they would have found a universal aluminum radiator, they would have stuck it in there, they might have modified it, but this company that built this car put so much time into the thought process of the build. They wanted to go with a radiator that looked somewhat error correct, like the hinges. This radiator is made by Walker. If you Google them, they're a great company. This is a, a SPAL fan, S-P-A-L. It's an oversized electric fan here for cooling. This thing runs very, very cool. Again, can't say enough about how much thought went into this entire deal. You'll even see on the firewall, the transmission billet dipstick with the braided line. The engine breathes through uh, Sanderson headers. Uh, those are a really good name in the business for headers. That flows into a Borla exhaust system, which is a stainless exhaust. They did a magnificent job with the exhaust system on this car. The engine is actually coupled uh, to a Ford AOD transmission, which is a brand new transmission that was installed in here. Uh, the company that actually supplied the transmission, just wanna make sure I get this accurate. Um, it was ATO was the company. I believe they're out of California. They supply these transmissions, brand spanking new. Um, this has got an aluminum drive shaft uh, that's a really lightweight drive shaft, very strong. And then of course, the power is transferred to the pavement through the Ford nine inch true track uh, rear end. It's got 31 uh, axle spline, spine axles. It also has 373 or 378. Let me just make sure by references here, let me give you accurate information. Yeah, 378 gears in the back. You'll notice that the rear end, when you look at the undercarriage photos, uh, again, was powder coated the same color gray as everything else. When we're talking about the undercarriage, uh, now that we're on that subject, you gotta check out the pictures on our website of the undercarriage of this vehicle. It is extremely, extremely detailed. The bottom side of the body itself was actually painted with like a textured black satin uh, color, which is great for durability. Um, the body actually sits on the original frame. So yes, it does have the original frame. In our photo gallery, it still has pictures of the VIN stamp that's on the right spot of the original frame. The frame was boxed, it was reinforced, it was powder coated. You'll even see where the exhaust system was fabricated through the frame. Uh, but again, they did a beautiful job with that. Uh, then of course, to the frame, they connected a Heights uh, front end system here. It's a Mustang II, it's what they reference it as. It has rack and pinion power steering. Um, it has uh, tubular upper and lower control arms. It's got QA1 shocks. Again, they did an awesome job installing that. When you look at the rear the suspension, the rear suspension is a custom four link setup. It's really strong, really sturdy. That also has QA1 adjustable shocks in the back as well. And then of course the entire vehicle sits on 
the Air Ride. Now this is a Accu uh, Ride Air system. It's one of the best in the business. Uh, it's got four sensors, which means that it adjusts accordingly to your weight. So as an example, if someone were to sit in this vehicle right now, uh, the vehicle automatically will adjust to the different weights and so forth. Right now we have it in the number two position. Um, it easily, which we've demonstrated in our video, can actually be put right down. So if I get inside the door here, touch the keypad, and I wanna put it on the ground, all I do, turn the key here, push one, and it drops. Just like that, if I want to raise it back up, number two, automatically adjusts, and that's all there is to it. It is the best system on the planet. Uh, it also has a ride height, which is actually higher than what you see right now. So again, not only does it have all the components that I just mentioned, the QA ones and, and, and the four link and the heights and everything else, but it also has the most sophisticated air ride technology that's available and it is amazing to drive in. Uh, and last but not least is the braking system. To wrap up the presentation here, we do have a chrome uh, brake booster that you can see there. I believe it's a nine inch. Um, we also have a black Willwood master cylinder Again, all new technology. We do have Willwood uh, four-wheel disc brakes that are behind those Budnick wheels. They do have a polished caliper. They've got drilled and slotted rotors. Again, let's quickly just talk about this real fast before we end. We've got all of the modern features that you could ever ask for in a vehicle, checks all the boxes. It's an MS Classic Cars top 25 vehicle. You've got to make sure to watch our driving video. This is something special. If you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, make sure to do that. Also follow us on all the social media networks. We're on all the platforms. Again, I'm going to go ahead and get in the vehicle now. I'm going to start it. I'm going to let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Okay, now I'm back inside the vehicle. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a cold start. We have not started this vehicle in probably a week or so. It does have an electric choke, so I'm gonna pump the gas pedal a few times, go ahead and turn the key, and let you listen to how beautiful she runs. We appreciate you watching. Thanks again. That's all there is to it. Rock and roll, baby.